welcome to Hell to Beauty. This is Lauren and today, yes, if you haven't seen any of my videos recently, I did dye my hair pink. I have a video linked down below that I talk about what I did and why I did it. We have a guest here, Marilyn. I got her from AliExpress. She was under $20. A beautiful, beautiful poster. I absolutely love it. That video is the same video, so it's all linked down below for you if you are interested. Today we are doing an unboxing. I have been waiting for my mail lady all day. She showed up. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. But first of all, thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching. Get cozy. This is going to be interesting because this handbag I have never seen before. It's supposed to be bigger than what I imagined. I'm looking at it right now and I thought it was going to be a lot larger, which we'll see. I also am going to show you after I open it if it's anywhere close to what it's supposed to look like and if it's anywhere close to what the reviews said as in they really loved it and they thought it was a really cool handbag. And of course you're going to tell me what you think as well. So we're going to truly do an unboxing. I have not seen it. It literally just showed up. A couple of things I have when I do unboxings like this. I have a bottle of rubbing alcohol. I have paper towels. I have my trash can right by me because I want it to be very, very sanitary. That's just something that I do. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to grab it. So if there, let me see. I don't know. So if you've never seen anything from like AliExpress or DHgate, it comes wrapped usually like this. Um, it looks like it's been through the mill to be honest with you, um, but it's all intact. So no scratches, no bumps, no nothing. So I'm just gonna cut it open. I know you can't see me cutting it open, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna get rid of some information. You know what I mean. And now I'm gonna show it. Now it's looking really cool, just through this it's looking really cool if you can't tell we've got a really colorful theme going on um so yeah so i thought it was going to be about this much bigger so anyway let's see so i think i'm gonna have to air this one out too but that's okay when I get a new handbag, it gets cleaned if it can, and then I, meaning I clean it with alcohol, or I will use soap and water, and then I will air it out for several days outside or in my garage. So, now this particular bag, let me just say before I totally take it out, is I don't think it is a replica or I don't think this brand ever even made this handbag. It's a complete 100% dupe. I don't think it's going to have any branding on it as well. It was literally just so pretty. I could not pass it by. Um, it has really great reviews. I can smell it. It's going to have to go outside for sure. And this you're going to see, I'm not going to be able to wash it for very apparent reasons. Um, so uh, let's open her up for him. You see it's sparkling. The other thing I wanted to say really quick before I open this up is, um, I hated this bag in every way, every single color with the monogram. I hated it. I hated it until I saw a fake, a super dupe, something that never existed. So it's really interesting how fashion and things that can kind of evolve, even if it's involved of evolving from um, something that was of a natural resource, not real resource, but a natural fashion resource from a particular brand. And then it gets turned into a super dupe like this. Um, so anyway, let's open her up. I don't think I'm going to hate this one at all because of the color. So look at this. Can you guys guess which handbag this is and which brand I'm talking about? This just is all on theme, is it not? This was not planned. Maybe subconsciously it was. Okay, I got a little hair. Okay, so 
I'm gonna turn her around and this is the bag. Let's do a couple little shots. Would that be funny or what? <laughs> anyway, so this is the handbag. So you may have noticed it, but it looks like it lost a little bit of its sparkle here. Um, but I think I could get some glue and some glitter and fix it myself. Again, I've said I'm not the purse doctor in every damn video. I have to be the purse doctor. But now I don't even know if this here, because I thought this was one of like the ugliest parts of the bag. And I'm sorry if you love this handbag, just omit what I said. But I did not like this. I did not like anything about it. I think they sent me the small. This is definitely not the large but AliExpress doesn't take handbags back. They don't give you your money back. So we're just gonna keep on trucking. So yeah, so this is it. So let's see. Okay, good. So this just has a little snap. I hate when they have the ones where you have to push up under here. That would really ruin it. Okay, so for me, I'm loving this. Clearly, I can't wash this or it will, this will happen everywhere. Um, I will spray it with some alcohol to make sure that it is clean. I know you want to see inside, so let's look. So inside, there's a little pillow. We don't even want to get the air out of that. Um, so I put that in the trash. There's nothing else in here. There's a middle zipper. And the middle zipper, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not working. Now she's opened up. Um, then the hardware, yeah, the smells, it's definitely going outside. Um, this, this could be a really good thing, a really bad thing. This chain weighs like nothing. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a blessing, not a curse. Usually these are much heavier, much substan more sub substantial, but probably the people who made this, um, we're thinking that you would use this as a clutch because of the, because of the size. Um, I don't think this is, I thought it was going to be like really, really rough when I got this, as far as this, it's actually pretty smooth. It's really rough on the sides here, but, um, it's actually smoother than I thought it would be. Um, but you know mama's gonna patch this up real fast because I don't like imperfections on new things. On older things, it's okay. But on new things, no. Um, if you catch my drift. I know you do. So inside, it's really, uh, like I said, this wasn't gonna be branded. And it's not branded. And that's okay because this is a super dupe. Super dupe. So you have two little pockets and a zipper that works when it wants to. I'm not going to use that middle part anyway, so it's totally fine. Um, this, <laughs> this is a super fake pocket flap. <laughs> I'm dying right now. Oh my God. This is not even, there's nothing here. <laughs> There's nothing here. Why is it here? <laughs> that is so funny. I know why it's there, but that is funny. You guys tell me if the real Gucci purse that I hate with a passion has an actual pocket here because there's no pocket. <laughs> that is just killing me, you guys. It is so funny. Okay, so you've seen inside. So I'm just gonna give you 360. On a scale of one to 10 on smell, it's, it's about a, it's about an eight. When I get outside and that heat gets on this thing, it's going to be like a 22, but that's okay. Um, so someone could carry this like this. If you have, oh, wait a minute. No, actually has a nice size drop. Look at that. That's a nice size drop. 
How many inches is that? I don't have my thing. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Maybe ten inch, ten inch drop. That's nice. That actually fits under my arm, you guys. And I don't have like teeny tiny arms. Let me see if I can show you. So see, that's nice. I like that. And then if you want to wear it long, then it's going to be totally out of view. However, that's nice. So what do you guys think? What do you think about this bad boy or bad girl? Bad girl, bad girl, bad boy. Um, so let me tell you, obviously we're misshapen, but the more colors you have to this, the more dimension you can't really tell. This was under $20. So, you know, I'm not gonna try to touch my face. Don't do that. Um, I haven't cleaned it yet. So I see some errors here, errors. So here there's stitching issues, um, but I could take a pink pen again, damn purse doctor. I could take a pink pen or pink glitter and put it there. Um, same thing inside there where they finish their stitching right here. I can put probably like purple marker or something over it, something that'll be okay. Um, same thing here. We're kind of bent. We weren't in a box. We're a super dupe. Um, when I opened her up, I only got a tiny bit of, you can't even see it. I only got a tiny bit of glitter come off of her. Um, let's inspect it just a little further before we go. We're dented in here. Oh, we smell. Ooh, we're going to be washing this guy. We're going to be airing this one out for a, a while. It's 100 degrees today, so it probably feels like 110. This thing might melt outside, so we may have to, like be in the shade. I like to air out all of my purses in the sun, but it's hot right now. I don't want to melt this thing. I, I do think it's cute. Um, what else? This little flap that I laugh like crazy. Um, that's here. The stitching's pretty straight. Um, you know, you never know if it's the glue that smells and because this is blinged up, you know they use glue. Yeah, it smells really bad. So it's gonna have to air out. This bag will probably take, I think it will probably take about two to three weeks to air out um, to meet my satisfaction. And then there's a, another little place here. I don't know if you can see really tiny little place, but that's the biggest place right there. Um, hopefully this could be maybe a special occasion bag, but look at the lighting. Look how glittery it is. Isn't that really pretty? There's a lot of pros to this. Um, you know, this is up a little higher than the other side. What else can I see? Um, it doesn't, I mean, I honestly, because you know I didn't like the bag to begin with, I bought this because of that glitter and that shine. Let's not take Marilyn out of the shot. But look at that. It is like really cute. It's a cute bag. What do y'all think? I'm going to give you a really close up. What do you think? I think for a, this may have been $16. I think um, here's the downs, upside downside. Smell downside, but that's to be expected if you've ever purchased bags from, you know, these types of vendors. Um, downside, and could be an upside, the chain, like the feel, the weight, I just want it, but you know, maybe it would rip this off. It was too heavy, so we'll just leave it as it is. Um, it's not detachable. That's okay. Um, 
hopefully it's just not going to shed glitter. In my opinion, it's not. This is just this is just a little defect. Now, they said they had two sizes. So they sent me the small size. I know my sizes very well. The other one would have had to be I mean, you could I don't even think you could make this any smaller to be I mean, to be smaller. Uh Okay, so this was uh $15. This is supposed to be 30 inch, what am I saying? 30 centimeters. Um, 30 centimeters. Do I have my? 30 centimeters is gonna be about this big. Okay, that's how big 30 centimeters is. So this is the 20 centimeter. The 30 centimeter would be here. Okay, so they sent me the small one, and I can show you. I mean, they think you're dumb. Like, I mean, I don't even have to pull out a measuring tape to tell that this thing is not the big one. I'm going to show you how I know. And... Yeah, a couple centimeters off, but I wanted the bigger one. Okay. So when I click on the larger size, it shows it's not available. So they sent me what they had, which is what they do a lot of the time. Um, so it is a 20 centimeter what they sent me. I could tell. Um, I wanted to show you. Let me try to show. This is the larger size. You can tell it's wider. And this is the larger size. So see how this one is so much smaller than this one? Um, I'll tell them I didn't get it, but if you go and you click on this, let me smile. I'm still happy. I'm a happy person. Okay, so on their video, you can see I'll let you just see the bags. I mean, it's a hair difference. I'm gonna show you the video again. So that's the bigger one, and that's the one I ordered, and clearly that's not the one I got. Look how large that one looks. See the smaller one? I obviously got the smaller one. And, uh, that's what it looks like. And I think it looks way better in person. But, you know, they didn't have the larger one in. Um, I knew they were probably going to send me the smaller one because they said they were low on stock. But they did charge me a couple extra dollars for the large one. And I only got the small one. So what I will be doing with this one is I will take my measuring tape out. And I will take pictures and video of the handbag showing them that I got the smaller size. Um, you never want to send back any handbags to China because it's about $70. And for a $15 bag, you don't send $70, send it back for 70 to get $15 back. So don't do that. They always need to reimburse you either a full refund because they didn't give you the correct size or they need to give you a partial refund of the difference, whatever it is. So definitely make sure you never have them have you return stuff because you'll never end up making your money back um, from the handbag. Uh, but all in all, I can say it's a really cute handbag. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you love Marilyn's cameo. I'm loving her in the pictures, um, in the videos. Um, and that is that. I'll do one more little open up for you. We don't want to make this video too long. Um, so she's going to get cleaned. She's going to get videoed. She's going to get pictures taken. She's going to get measured. And then we are going to get her aired out. So thank you guys so much for watching my super dupe super dupe gucci handbag 
Hope you liked it. Remember, if the handbag says that it is sold out and the other size is in, that's probably what you're going to get. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see you next time. Have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you next time.